him at OU or Lincoln Riley at USC, which one will have a bigger impact this season? I think it's going to be Lincoln Riley at USC, not necessarily in terms of a national championship, but just the different attitude around that program. We've already seen players gravitate toward him, whether it be transfers, and there could be more, uh, or high school recruits, some of whom were committed to Lincoln at Oklahoma, kids out of Southern California. Plus, he's in the Pac-12. So a newfound energy in the program, a youthful energy, uh, better players, and an easier path to me uh, makes it uh, I think a slam dunk that this year Lincoln Riley will have the bigger impact based on where the two schools were coming from. Uh, and in the Big 12, you mentioned it, Baylor is going to be tough. We'll see what happens with Texas. Nobody thinks they're back, but at some point they are actually going to be back. And you can't uh, count out Mike Gundy either. So uh, I'd say Lincoln Riley. Yeah, we're not even talking about Mike Gundy, who was three yards away from going to the playoff. Or an inch, depending an inch, on that one right. run. And, and he, they are in the top 25. I think I'm, I've got them at number 25. They lose a lot, but they get Spencer Sanders back. But I think I, I like Brent Venables because I think there's a lot there that he inherits. Mm -hmm. I don't think there'll be much of a drop-off. And, again, I think it'll be them or Baylor winning the Big 12. Long run, sure, Lincoln Riley. There's a lot on his shoulders. The three... I guess biggest programs in the Pac-12 all change coaches, yep. Washington, Oregon, and USC. But clearly, USC is the flagship. He's immediately going to draw players. We already see that in recruiting. It looks like Caleb Williams is going to go there. I just don't know if they have all the pieces now. Corey Foreman, I think, will improve in year two mm -hmm. on, the, on the defense. But they don't run the ball particularly well. And Lincoln Riley's offense, as explosive as it is, is fairly balanced. Yep. They're going to have to run the ball. I think Keontae Ingram is still back. Uh, the Texas transfer, let's see how he goes. But they're going to have to get better defensively, and they're going to have to run the ball. R weird weird topic, but uh, Lincoln Riley, USC's going to have to get tougher uh, oh, yeah. overall. Yeah. And there's a lot on his shoulders. What, six, five, six years now, the Pac-12 hasn't played in the championship, hasn't played in the playoff. I don't think it's going to happen next year. All right, guys, we're out of time. we got to get you out. But Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.